Joining me in the studio this morning is Chinasi Aibunya, of course, sports journalist with Max FM Abuja. Good morning, Chinasi. Welcome, welcome to the program this morning. Good morning, morning Chilabri. How are you doing? I'm very good, thank you. Now, it's Boxing Day. It's usually... Last week brought the shockers, the result shockers, Leicester winning at Chelsea, Crystal Palace winning at Man City. I feel a bit, you know, maybe we're not going to see the same kind of surprises. Usually, <laughs> Boxing Day brings the surprises. Yeah, because you'd say uh, after the festivities, you know, uh, players might be a little bit relaxed and stuff, and so the surprises might come in. But we didn't expect what happened last week. You know, mm. Chelsea losing at home and also Manchester City losing at home. So today, I think uh, these guys will be well prepared. Uh, they might have cut shots at some of their uh, ex holidays, excesses yeah. and holidays because they know they want to uh, get into the right frame of mind, to especially Manchester City, who now have a four-point deficit against Liverpool, and they really want to I try and make that up. So I think you should expect uh, Man, Man City, especially firing on all cylinders. No, let's let's stay with Manchester City. They they were they were the team to beat. Some will still tell you they are the team to beat. Uh, though Liverpool, they're edging themselves into that position. How do you recover from being an invisible team and all of a sudden losing to, with all due respect to Crystal Palace? Well, to Crystal it's Palace. it's it's football. It's the English Premier League. Anything can happen. If you remember last season, at some point when Man City were also going on a run after they hadn't uh, they were, they were on a winning run I think it was Crystal Palace that, yeah, that actually that stopped, stopped their winning run by get a by a draw and they should they would have lost that match because Crystal Palace lost the penalty late in that game so it just shows you that maybe Roy Hudson has something over Guardiola he knows how to negate his tactics uh, Guardiola is a, is a man that likes to keep like a free-flowing footballer and apparently uh, Roy Hudson's negative tactics if you like if you want to call it that uh, seems to uh, be the antidote for Guardiola so if Leicester City of course surprise winners at Chelsea uh, of course, they always give Chelsea a fight, but not at Old Trafford. I think that's the first time they're winning. Stamford Bridge, you mean? Stamford Bridge, sorry. <laughs> that's the first time they're winning in over uh, uh, 30 years or thereabouts. So, Leicester City, Manchester City. We remember Leicester City winning the title in 2016 after beating Man City at the Etihad. How do City recover from this? Yeah, it's a very tough one for City. And uh, not just beating uh, City went on the way to the title. I think the season after they won the title, Guardiola's first season in charge, okay. they actually beat City again. I think, you know, so uh, apparently so it's, it's a match Guardiola knows he would not take lightly. Mm. He's going to prepare for it fully. And, uh, but he might, have, he might just meet the Leicester City side that is very, very uh, motivated to go ahead and achieve more. Also, we know the tragedy that befell the team uh, with the passing of their chairman. And they want to actually end the season on the high and do something really good the season. They are a very good side. They have capable, capable players, Jamie Vardy, uh, Okazaki, our own with Fred and Didi. So it's, it's going to be a tough game. I think uh, it depends on how Man City starts. If they can get an early goal, then maybe their names, it, they will calm their names. But if they don't, the longer it goes on, mm. uh, maybe uh, Leicester City gets the lead. The first goal. It's, it's going mm. to be very interesting. Now let's let's move to the Manchester neighbours. Ole Gona Sokshare is the song. And now, at the <laughs> Manchester United uh, training camp, the, there was this video that was going viral. If you if you believe in Olegona, you honk and everybody was honking <laughs> their cars. Now, how how much of uh, you know how much have you been impressed by uh, Sokshare? And how carried away, how much of a carry away should Manchester United? Have? I don't think Manchester United will be carried away. I don't think uh, I think it's it, it's something that happens every time. When you get a new manager, the players uh, decide to, you know, play well. And besides, we all know the whole story about Mourinho and the fact that the players were not happy, gloom and doom. Uh, Social has come, sm always smiling. In his playing days, they, they call him, they call him baby faced after saying, always smiling. So he has lifted the mood. They won. They had a, a convincing victory in his first game in charge. So I don't think they'll get carried away. I think they know what they need to do. They are nine points behind uh, Champions League, a Champions League place, so they know that their, their work is cut out for them. All right, uh, that's. All most of the excitement that we're going to be expecting today, of course, in the world of football. Thank you very much, Nasia. Always a pleasure. For giving us your time this morning.